the next design is of this ball bearing which is a very common and widely used part in many instruments and machines in order to minimize friction and power losses. This is a bit complex to be made but if you follow the steps that I am telling you can make it in like 4 to 5 minutes max. So let's start. Go to new design. Create a sketch in this vertical plane. Invoke center rectangle. Double click and select this. Copy and paste. And drag it downwards. Uh, yeah, this much would be sufficient. And let's make a line in between them and create a circle in this midpoint up to the midpoints or the center of the center rectangle. Now why we are making this sketch? We are trying to create this outer and inner rays of the ball bearing. These two are called outer and inner rays. So now finish the sketch and let's use revolve again. Control and select both the profiles over here. We could have trimmed this particular line but let it be there is no issue. For the axis select this one and just a matter of seconds the inner and outer rays is complete. Next is to create these spherical balls. So for that, let's hide the body first. Select control and select all these. And then again invoke the revolve command. Show the body and select this axis. The sphere is created. Now we need several of them. So what we can do? We can create a circular pattern. Let's hide the sketch. We don't require it now. Let's create circular pattern. Select the feature which was the second revolve to create the sphere. And select this axis. Let's make it. Let's let's see twenty. Yeah, let's make it twenty. Now twenty spheres are made, and when we look at the bodies, we will have the corresponding bodies. Let's rename it. This is the outer race. This one is inner race. And all of these are the balls inside. Now the only thing that is remaining is the encasing that is surrounding these spherical balls. So for that, let's show the origin and on this particular plane let's create a sketch let's make a concentric circle finish the sketch and select this region right click press pull choose the extent type as two object and select the surface of the inner race and operation should be a new body not joint not cut new body 
click on OK. Now when we see in the bodies, we will have this new body which would act as the encasing. Now let's hide this outer and inner rays. Just select this, control select this one, right click and hide it. You can also use shortcut V to show or hide the bodies or anything that is in the browser. Let's hide the sketches for now. Now we are going to learn a new thing that was not covered in the course. That is using combine in a more proficient way. Select all these. Let the target body be the encasing that we are having. And for the tool bodies, let's select all these bodies. Just select first one. Create on shift, select the last one and it will cut the target body. These tool bodies are cutting the target body and do not forget to tick on this checkbox to keep the tools. Otherwise, all these spherical balls will be gone. Click on OK. Now again, select this body, shift, select this last body, right click and hide them. Now to create the encasing properly, we need to provide shell to this. Select this face, select this one, select this and let Let's make the inside thickness as 0.1 and we are almost good to go. Now show the origin, use mirror and select the bodies. This is one body only of the encasing itself. Select the mirror plane and the operation should be join because it is joining to the encasing body only. Click on OK. And then we want all the bodies to be shown to be visible. So click on the bodies in the browser and click on show all. Hide the origin. And our bearing is complete. Almost complete. Let's provide fillet to this surfaces. Control and select all these. And let it be 1 mm only. And our bearing is fully complete. 